bring you to it's just barely not enough uh, okay if we brought you up to there and then we'll go fall off the edge of the world nice okay wow uh, that kind of sucks Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get our nuclear power online and ready to go. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have not uh, seen the last video that I released, which would have been on uh, September 1st, uh, the day before this video comes out, uh, make sure you check that out because it was the culmination of all of the work that we did on the uranium supply train. Uh, so, as you can see, I designed some train stations, and I do have all of that blueprinted uh, for uh, our main train, sta train stations here. And I may use that same design uh, when 1.0 comes out. And I uh, had a lot of fun with it. So, yeah, check that video out. It, it was a lot of fun to make, and it's a, a pretty neat train ride that we that we have there. So yeah, our main goal for this episode is to get our nuclear power going. Um, we're pretty much ready to go. The only thing we need to do is we need to get the waste situation taken care of. Um, and I've already already have several, um, as you can see, uh, uranium fuel rods ready to go. In fact, well, this uh, yeah, this guy's still working on it. But I think both of these plants are jam packed with fuel rods, so they're they're ready to rock and roll. Uh, but of course, the reason I don't have them turned on yet is because of the waste. I haven't set up the, the waste, so we're going to do that. Uh, let me make sure before we go all the way out there that I have everything I need uh, for this. So we're going to build 360 is 720. Probably going to build two of these. So yeah, let's go get some more uh, beams and pipes. So. We have enough to make two of those. Okay. Let's go ahead and head on over here. So, um, the, the plan for now, anyways, is to just store the nuclear waste. That's the easy way to do nuclear power. Um, but it certainly can uh, be a problem for uh, a long play. You just have to continually, you know, store it. And so what most people do is they they build a shit ton of storage, uh, you know, all the way on the edge of the map, which is exactly what I'm doing. Or some people do it down in the void, but it doesn't really matter where you do it because the game still has to account for it when you load up. So one, one of the problems that that can create, of course, is that it... Um, it takes your game longer and longer to load the more you build up. So you can see that I have a little bit of waste here, and that's just because I, I turned them on just briefly to test them, make sure everything was working, uh, which they were. Um, so this is the this is the limit that we can go. Um, if, if I go past this point, yep, yeah, shit, right there, we're at the edge of the world, and it'll start to kill you, as you can see. Uh, and I can't really go that way anymore either because it kind of wraps, curves around, and goes over to the Paradise Island area. But uh, we can go to the north for quite some, you know, quite a ways. So we're going to just start with this. I mean, my original plan was to go both directions until I discovered that I couldn't go directly south any further from this point. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get our blueprints out. I have made uh, permanent waste storage blueprints. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of bins here. So I need to to figure out where the input is versus the output. And the ghost image here is not really showing me that. So we're just going to have to set it down and then let's bring that back to there. 
And if it's not right, then we'll flip it around. Uh, oh, no, it is showing me. Okay, so that's the input right there. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I think I did the math on this. Um, yeah, this will store 864 stacks of nuclear waste. Uh, and everything is Mark 5. So 864 stacks. I believe there's 500 in a stack. So 864 times 500. So we can basically store 432,000 barrels with one of these blueprints. And then when, you know, when it starts to fill up, then you just lay another blueprint down and you keep essentially chaining them together. Um, for us, that's not going to be a problem at all because we are on the, you know, very tail end of this playthrough. We are going to start over when 1 -0 comes out. So, yeah. Um, why don't we go ahead, though, and put two sections down anyway, just because we can. Um, all right, so... I'm not, I don't have any power out here, so I can't really hover. But that actually looks correct. All right, so basically now we're going to be able to start 864,000. And again, you know, if this was going to be a, a much longer playthrough, then we could just keep extending this out this way and keep adding more storage. All right, so the thing about this, though, is that... Um, why isn't that irradiating me? That's weird. It should, there should, they should be emitting radiation, but they're not. I don't know why. That's weird. Okay, well, whatever. Um, so what we have to do here is we have to actually add the belts uh, or, uh, yeah, the belts in the back because I didn't have room in the blueprint designer to do that. So everything starts over here. Because remember, when I first designed this, I thought we were going to also be able to go that direction too. Um, had I known we were not able to, I probably would have had the input start here. But it really doesn't matter in the long run. Right? So, okay. So let's go ahead then. And um, what we're going to need to do actually is... I gotta think about this. Okay, so let's. Oh, I'm on the wrong toolbar here. So this is the out bin. So we're gonna have this come all the way to the in bin here. Okay, so that means. Um, I wonder if we can put a lift here and have it go that way and have it reach oh for goodness sakes really almost I'm almost tempted to, to redo these blueprints so that the input starts here uh Well, all right, no, let's not do that. I don't want to do that right now. Since we're so close to being finished with this playthrough, let's let's not do it. But what we are going to have to do is bring you to... It's just barely not enough. Uh, okay, if we brought you up to there. And then we'll go fall off the edge of the world. Nice. Okay. Wow. Uh, that kind of sucks. All right. Note to self and to everybody else that didn't know this. You do not want to fall off your dock when you're this far out because you just go right down into the void. Not fun. Not fun at all. Okay. And what the frick? <laughs> oh, man. Nothing's ever easy. I got too far over. Okay, so let's grab some of these and... All right, guys, I realized something. Um, if we simply turn these around, then, and have everything come in from the backside, which is fine, there's no reason not to do that. 
uh, then it'll it'll be in the right position to make this a lot easier. So let's redo this. Uh, we'll grab the permanent waste storage. We want to make sure that the sign is facing this way, which it. Why the hell doesn't it show the sign in the in the ghost image? I'm pretty sure. Well, I I have no idea. I think this is right though because the arrow is pointing towards us here let's just set it down temporarily and see if that's what we want yes okay so we want the arrow for uh, well in this case facing west okay now that we know that okay arrow is facing west perfect okay so let's put this here um we need to slide it over to there and back to there yeah, if we just feed this in from the backside, then the input is in the right place. <laughs> Excuse me, kazoom tight. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. Now let's put the second one down here. Arrow is facing us. That's good. And that looks uh Yeah, that looks correct. Okay, now all we have to do is grab you and bring you to here and put you in there. And the waste that's for whatever reason. Oh, now it's now it's generating radiation. That was weird. It's like when it was sitting still there, it, it wasn't an issue. I don't know. Okay, anyway, so the output here then is simple because now all we have to do is just go, uh, where are we at? Out to in. Um, except for we want, uh, we actually want these to all be Mark V belts. I mean, they don't need to be, but we'll just do it that way because we can. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to go around the back side here. And we come out of there and into there. And then out of there and into there. Wash, rinse, repeat. Okay, so wait a second. I think... Um, I don't think we want that one there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually the end of the first section. And one way we can tell that is if we go into blueprint disassembly mode. Okay, so that fills everything up there. And then, uh, so this is the start of the next section. So then we just do this. And again, the reason I have to do this now is because it doesn't, it wouldn't fit inside the blueprint. Yeah, we got to do this on the front end as well. There, now it's moving. Okay. Okay, we should now, we should see everything accumulate in the, whoops, yeah, in the very last bid now. And again, I'm pretty sure these stack up to 500. Okay. So I don't know how long uh, it would take to fill all of these up. I th think I think each one of those plants produced 10 waste per minute. And we have two of them, so basically we have 20 per minute. So that's kind of cool looking. <laughs> Check that out. Um, so... So, okay, so if we have 20 per minute, um, so 20 per minute times 60 is, that's 1,200, no, sorry, hold on, 20 per minute, 
Twelve, yeah, twelve hundred per hour. Times twenty-four is twenty-eight thousand eight hundred per twenty-four hour period. Okay, so so twenty-eight thousand, and then what did we say? Twenty-eight eight. Um, if we go back to here, oops. Okay, so eight hundred and sixty-four times five hundred. No, actually, we'll we'll times it by a thousand because we have two, right? Okay, so eight hundred and sixty-four uh, times a thousand. Is eight hundred sixty-four thousand? Okay, so eight hundred and sixty-four thousand divided by twenty-eight eight hundred is thirty. Okay, so if I did that math right, and I suck at math, so I may not have, <laughs> but this seems to suggest that this this storage should last for thirty days. Um, that's twenty-four hours nonstop, of course. Of running with two nuclear plants. I think I did that math right. If I didn't, well, you know, it's me, right? So, uh, you know, we're we only have we only have nine days left until 1.0 comes out. So we don't even have to think about this anymore. But it, you would have to, of course, think about it if if this was going to be a permanent save, and you'd it, you know, and then if you added more nuclear power plants to the mix, then you would have to do even more. Um, you know, and, and when we get to 1.0 and we get to the point where we start doing nuclear power again, at that point, I'm going to go ahead and, and actually set up the particle accelerators to make the plutonium rods so that we can sink the rods. In fact, you know what? I, I just watched the latest video from from uh, Snut, um, Coffee Stain, and they said you could actually take and make what's called fix-it fuel rods which don't generate waste now they're they're less efficient than the uranium and the plutonium but they don't generate any waste so that's another thing we could explore you know when we get to that point in 1.0 anyway i think we're ready to start this up and everything is ready to go all we have to do is turn them on so let's do it those are the rods i'm assuming Now, I'm not a nuclear power expert, but my understanding is that the rods, the fuel rods, what they do is they basically, oh, wow, I just pulled a rod out of there. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what they do is they boil water, right? And then the steam, you know, from the boiled water spins a turbine, and that's how the power is made. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. So, um, oh, you know what? I forgot to look at the grid, but you can see that we jumped up to 2,500 megawatts right there. And then when we turn this one on, we'll jump up another 2,500 megawatts. And so we've basically added 5,000 megawatts to our power grid. So we're producing almost 20,000 megawatts, 18,600 and whatever. Um, and we're consuming 10,000 so far. So we, we have uh, lots of power uh, available to us. Very cool. So yeah, my plan for you know 1.0, again, when we get to nuclear power, will be to um, uh, you know deal with, with the waste. In fact, what I would ultimately like to do is, is turn that waste into fix it uh, rods right so that we can um, you know fuel rods fix it fuel rods so that we can just use those and that way you know we've completely dealt with the waste and we don't we have zero waste uh, when it's all said and done how long it'll take to get to that point I don't know because we have to be well into the quantum um, you know the tier 9 quantum tier 
<laughs> uh, to do all that stuff. So it's going to be fun. Um, you know, if you didn't watch that video, they also said in the video that um, we'll be able to make, um, what do they call it? it basically uh, synthetic. Yeah, synthetic power shards. Uh, so we don't need slugs. The slugs will still be in the game, you know, and we can still do power shards, you know, the normal way too. But um, we'll be able to make synthetic shards and then the space elevator requirements for tier 9 um, you know will we'll require a bunch of quantum stuff that are you know pretty complex stuff that we'll have to make so it'll be fun when we get to that point all right cool um all right guys so I, I honestly am at a point right now where I'm not even sure what else to do. Um, I mean, there's more things we could do. Um, so it's I, I just have to decide, you know, we still have nine days left, right? So I have to decide what to do for the rest of this series. Um, you know, we have a couple more hard drives we could go after. So we could do it, you know, make an, another episode of that. We have, um, we could, if we wanted to, start working towards uh, the next space elevator part just to do it, you know. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm kind of not inclined to do that for a couple of reasons. One, you know, we're almost done with this playthrough. But also, you know, they've greatly reduced these requirements uh, for 1.0. So we won't have to do 4,000 of whatever the fuck this thing is. We, we only have to do like 500 or whatever. Um, they said they inflated the numbers on these intentionally during early access just because I guess they didn't want people beating the game too soon or whatever. But these have been these numbers have been uh, nerfed significantly for 1.0. But remember though, then we have to go into tier 9, uh, which is going to have all the quantum stuff and that's going to be the the really big daddy of them all so to speak. So uh, so we could we could maybe you know set up a production line to at least start making those. Whether or not we get them all done before it's all you know before we're done is anybody's guess, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I just I, I, I'm a little bit at a loss uh, for what to do now. There there is I have plans for 1.0 in terms of how I want to set up my central hub. I want to do some testing on that, but that's not something I would show you guys in this series because I want to do it off camera. And then, of course, show it when we start the 1.0 series. So, yeah. Um, I think what I'm going to do then at this point is this is going to be a little bit shorter episode, which is fine because, oh, my God, that train, that train building episode we did was almost four hours long. Um, so I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here and give some thought to, you know, what else we might do for one or two more episodes to finish this. Uh, you know, there is another thing we could do, too, is we could try and mess around a little bit with the par particle accelerator and see if we could actually set up a production chain to deal with this waste. That would probably not be uh, a bad idea to do that just because then, you know, uh, I, w I would get the, uh, you know, the experience with working with setting that up. Because here's the thing, you know, when we do reach nuclear power in 1.0, we're not going to be able to just immediately jump into uh, qu the quantum stuff, tier 9, and start making the fix-it fuel rods. We are going to have to deal with the waste in the interim. So it might not be a bad idea to at least, you know, get an idea of what we need to do to deal with the waste in the meantime. Because I really don't like the idea of storing it permanently. I'm okay with doing that here because we're almost done. But in a long-term playthrough, I wouldn't want to do that. I really wouldn't. It's just, it just doesn't seem like the right thing to do, you know? <laughs> so, um, and it does, you know, it does have an impact on, uh, on your game's performance over time because the game still has to account for all that shit, right? Um, so let me give this some thought and then uh, I will let you know, you know, in the next episode what we're going to do for the remainder of this season before 1.0 comes out. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.